Jen Pachichi here. Let's talk about how to use journaling prompts in your regular journal or your art journal. I have several um, sections or types of art journal prompts that you can download. I have some links down, down below the video if you do not know what I'm talking about. And if you're here because you have already downloaded some, welcome. Uh, so how do you use a journal prompt? These are the steps that I suggest you take because if you do not know how to use the prompts, you may never use them. You may have printed them out and they might just be sitting there or they might just be in your inbox, never ever getting accessed by you. So the first thing to do is to actually carve out time to use them. Just like anything else, if you want to add more creativity to your life, if you want to make this peaceful self-care time for yourself, you have to decide to do it. Just like anything else, deciding to meal plan for the week on Sunday and setting aside that block of time, deciding that you're gonna exercise first thing in the morning or after work or whatever it is, if you do not carve out the time to do it, then your mind will find a million reasons why you cannot do it. So set yourself up for success by buying the supplies you need and then determining when you will do this. Even if it's just one afternoon a week on Sunday afternoons, just pick a time that you will do this. So first is setting a time for it, preferably a time when you will not be bothered. Although if you enjoy doing this sort of activity with friends or with children or whatever, then welcome, you're welcome to do that as well. Once you have set aside your time and you're sitting with your supplies and your journal and your printout of the prompts, then it is time to get into yourself, to get peaceful, to sort of open yourself up to that receiving mode. So you will inhale and exhale and just sort of bring yourself into the present moment. One of the most wonderful things about creativity and any sort of creative process is that it brings you into the moment. And we are best suited for living a happy life when we are in the present moment. So you set that time for yourself, you come into the moment, and then you choose a prompt that you sort of feel pulled to, feel called to. You can look through them. If one of them feels like it's nudging you, that's the one that you pick. However, <laughs> there might be some that um, you feel almost like repelled by. That might actually be the one that you should be doing because there could be something that wants to be unearthed. If you feel nothing when you're looking at the prompt, that's probably not the right one for that day. Um, however, if you've decided everyone in the group is going to do one prompt, then you just go with that and do the one prompt. But if it's just you on your own, try to feel like sort of what wants to happen and, and which one is calling to you. Once you have the prompt, then it's time to get creative. If you feel blocked and feel like you don't know what to do, again, inhale and exhale. And you can even say out loud something like, I'm ready for inspiration to flow through me. You can remind yourself, this does not need to look a certain way. It does not need to per be perfect. This is just me playing and experimenting just for the joy of it. And then you just sort of ask for something to come through you. And then you just do, just do. What color is calling to you? What shapes, what movements does your hand want to make? Do you want to write or do you want to paint or draw? Do you want to do both? Everything that you do is good and acceptable and wonderful. You don't have to do it any certain way. And then just work until you feel complete with it. It doesn't matter what it looks like. It doesn't matter. None of that matters. It doesn't matter if you fill the whole page. It doesn't matter if you fill two pages. You can, it can be a teeny tiny corner. It can be whatever felt right for you during this session. And then once you are done with that, you just let it go. You can look back at it later. You can see if another prompt is calling to you, but you can just put it away until the next time. And that's all there is to it. It's just to create space for you to express yourself and start doing art journaling or regular journaling, journaling or anything that will help bring that peace and calm and creativity to your life. And if you do do this, um, tag me on Instagram at Jen Pachichi or hashtag paint with Jen. That's one N in the Jen. <laughs> See you next time.